Hello, Sarasota County. I'm Jamie Carson, your Director of Communications, and I'm out here at Mosquito Management Services, and I'm joined by Wade Brennan, who's leading up the team here to kind of talk about how we operate as regards to mosquitoes in our area. We've got a lot of feedback on social media, some calls into our 311 following her and Kane Ian about us resuming services. So, Wade, can you just give an overview of the operation? Well, right now we're pretty much at full operation capacity for mosquito management. Uh, the day after the hurricane went through and we actually re resumed work this past Monday, we were able to reestablish our entire surveillance program. We have our disease surveillance up and running. We have our uh, mosquito surveillance up and running. And so we're also starting to do larva sighting with those efforts as well. The very next day, once we started getting all that data from the surveillance, we could figure out where we needed to treat. And we started doing aerial and truck applications the very next day for adult sighting. But we're basically, it's the same operation as it was before the hurricane, correct? We're not changing our methods or our mechanisms or, or the chemicals we're using. Correct. We're using the same safe uh, pesticides that we did before in the same fashions. And so right now it's uh, at night, you know, when we're doing adult sighting, it's anywhere from 7.45 till up to 1 in the morning. We've had to extend how late we're flying just because of the amount of areas that we have to get. We want to be able to treat them as soon as possible, not delay just because we want to have a 12 o'clock shutoff time. So we're, we're actually spraying a little bit later, and that's to help people out as much as possible. I sure, I'm sure our community is appreciative of that. Let's talk a little bit more about the chemicals. What can you share with us about the chemicals that our team uses? So for our aerial applications, we're using Anvil and Dibrom. Those are two uh, pesticides that we've used for many decades. The entire state uses them. The state actually uh, is, they're registered with the state for mosquito control purposes. And I know some people have been uh, wondering, you know, the windows are open, the doors are open, mm -hmm. but you know, th that brings on some concerns. But with the state, they okay these pesticides knowing that we're gonna be applying them in the air, broad spectrum through neighborhoods. And there's always some people out on sidewalks and parks, you know, just uh, enjoying the atmosphere and the environment. So there is regular exposure. So this is really no different. It's just people are wondering because they might not be used to it. I kept my windows and doors, you know, open before the storm and just the same after the storm. So it's the same as before to after. Right. So people can also sign up to know when you're in their area, correct? Yeah. Now, and some people are sensitive to more okay. sensitive to pesticides than others. So it is important for them and anybody else that wants to know where mm -hmm. we're spraying and uh, what we're going to be using. There's two major ways of knowing that. One, they can go on to the scgov.net and look up mosquito and that will take them to their website or our website I should say and they can get a detailed spray map that way or they can sign up for Alert Sarasota and it will automatically either text, email, phone call um, or also there was a couple other ways that it will notify them exactly when we're spraying. And that website, scgov.net, also has some other helpful mission uh, information about your overall missions and what you guys do out here. Yes, and what we're using, how we're using it, and also our regular applications, our disease, you name it, it has it when it comes to mosquito management. Thank you, Wade, and thank you and your team for everything you're doing. All right, so for more information, visit scgov.net. You can also call 311 when you're inside Sarasota County. If you're outside Sarasota County, you can dial 941-861-5000. They'll help walk you through the process. As Wade mentioned, those alerts, and you can, they'll help you sign up for those. Continue us to follow us on social media. We always post our information about where we're going to be uh, with Wade's team on our social media accounts, and that's at SRQCountyGov. Thank you for watching. Take care and take care of each other.